All right, the Kalfa Solar 10K uh, inverter. Uh, Kalfa sent me this out, and they sent me a couple of batteries and all the wiring and everything it came in a package. You know, it came in several different boxes. They sent me this out to test out. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna tell you what the specs are. I'm gonna tell you what the price is, give you my discount code, and then we'll jump into some testing to see how this thing does and if it can really put out the 10K that it claims. So first the specs, of course, is a 10K output inverter. This thing has two MPPTs on it. So you're gonna have basically two different solar arrays on it going from 100 to 500 volts. So each one can go up to 500 volts and 22 amps. So this thing can basically take in 5,500 watts per string, so 11,000 watts total. So this thing can really put out some power and bring it in at the same time. It's gonna bring in a little more than it's putting out, which is a good thing. You know, if you put 11,000 in and try to take 10,000 out, maybe you'll be able to get that. Basically, this has an AC input as well, and it has like a 63 amp uh, uh, overload, so it can go up to 63 amps, you know, coming in if you have the grid power tied into this, you know, and if your batteries get low, you can set it to charge your batteries back or just to bypass completely and go straight through the inverter to your loads and it'll work. And most importantly, this is a split phase inverter. So you got 120 and 240 volts. So whatever you need, it's gonna be good to go. You can also set this up in single phase if you're just trying to, I guess, run one piece of equipment or something like that, doing some kind of commercial stuff. It will do that as well. But we're gonna be talking about residential 120, 240, because that's what I'm gonna be using. And for all of that, this thing's gonna come in at $1,699. That's what the starting price is gonna be. I have a discount code, Rodney Hunt. I'll leave it linked up below. It's Rodney Space Hunt. So you can get $50 off any order over $200. So if you want to pick one of these up, you can get a discount. And they seem to be running a lot of discounts on their own a lot. So you might be able to get something extra. I think they're throwing a free panel or two right now when you order one of these. If you order some batteries, I think the same thing. So basically, you can order a whole kit from them, everything that includes the wiring and everything, and you'll be good to go. You won't need anything. They sent me stuff. They had the bus bars. They had the, the cables going from the battery to the inverter pretty much everything. The inverter itself is not gonna come with every single cable you need to come from the batteries, but if you order the batteries, it comes with a separate kit. So right off the bat, I've been messing around with this for a little while, and you know, the, the screen, I got this thing on the outside, so it is a little hard to see here on the outside. These aren't made for the outside, it's made for the inside 100%, so it'll probably be a lot easier to see in the inside. And then also, it also came with, you know, this little Wi-Fi dongle to try to uh, look at everything on the app. And while I did get it connected to the app, it doesn't seem to be updating right now. I don't know, maybe it's a problem with the server or need to do some kind of update, I'm not sure. But the thing did work. I did an update, a firmware update for the inverter, and that was pretty easy to go through the app and do it. So it's a little weird, so I think it may be just a server problem right this second. So we'll do some more testing on that later. All right, as you can be able to see, you know, the screen is pretty visible. I'm in my garage right now, so it's real easy to see. When I have it outside, of course, it was harder to see. These things aren't rated for the outside, but just so you know that up front, I did a bunch of my testing outside, and the screen was kind of hard to see, but it's very easy to see on the inside. As you can see, I have battery communication, 47% battery right now. So the BMS is working. I do have it hooked to two Kalfa uh, 100 amp hour batteries that they sent with me also. So you're seeing your, your voltage, you got your battery percentage, you got your output whenever you put it out. You know, it tells you how many amps is bringing in from the batteries right now and how many amps is going out to your loads. So 0.2 uh, load going to the AC, which is just basically it's putting some out there and it's not being used and then one amp from the battery just to keep the inverter running. And it's kind of windy outside today, so hopefully the audio is coming through good. I'm gonna do another video on the complete setup of this thing. Right now, we just wanna test it to see if the thing actually works. I got a 50 amp plug, got a 30 amp plug, got a couple of 120s over here. I'm gonna go ahead and hook a few things up. I'm gonna start out with my car and hook that up and see what it does and charge it at, you know, uh, maybe about 4,000 watts. Now I gotta plug my car up. All right, so you can see you got th 3.9 kilowatts coming out. I don't know if you can see that good. This has got a glare out here, of course, with the inverter. But got 3.9 kilowatts coming out. You might be able to see it right there. Let's see how much solar we got coming in, if we got any. 
It's kind of cloudy out here today, so I right, got 500, only 500 watts coming in. And each one of those legs got two kilowatts coming out. So right now it's working. So right now, four kilowatts coming out, you know, 3.9, not having any problem. The thing is pretty quiet too, like, you know, it's making just a little bit of noise, but you know, it's very quiet when there's nothing coming out. It's barely making any noise. So I'm gonna go ahead. I have my charge verter for my solar. Hopefully it's not all the way charged, the batteries. I go ahead and hook that up, crank it up so it'll take out 5,000 watts and, you know, see if this thing, what it can do. And then I have a couple of 120 things. I got a little tiny shop vac and a little saw and that should make it go over 10,000 watts and we'll see if this thing can really do it. And of course, right now my batteries are at, saying they're at 100% in there, but I got this charge verter set to 57 uh, volts. So hopefully they'll try to charge a little bit so I can see what this thing will do. Get my adapter hooked up using a 50 amp plug. So I did an adapter for my charge verter, which basically has like a 30 amp plug on it. All right, let's see what it does. And I guess it's not really pulling much because the thing is basically the batteries are basically charged in there. So we're gonna have to try something else. All right, since the batteries are basically fully charged in there and it doesn't seem like it's really pulling that much, I'm gonna unplug the charge verter. All right, you're gonna go ahead and plug up my car to the 50 amp charger. I mean the 50 amp plug. And my car, I think the max of the charger is about 27 amps. So let's go ahead and set it up. So I got this Bouge RV, of course, adjustable uh, EV charger. You know, I definitely like this thing because I can take it from 10 up to 40 amps. So if you're on solar and you're using it with your house and you're not trying to overload everything, try to use it at 10 amps, maybe it won't overload. 6.6 .6 kilowatts coming out. Might be able to see that, there we go. 6.6 .6 kilowatts coming out of an inverter. Let's go ahead and plug up a couple of 120s. Basically I have a saw there and a little tiny shop vac, but they should pull quite a bit of power. So let's go ahead and start plugging those up. Let's go ahead and start the shop vac and then we'll go up there and look at the inverter. <laughs> So as you saw, it's hard to talk over that shop vac, but I had 7.3 kilowatts coming out. You turn the inverter back off, it goes back down to 6.6. .6. So let's turn the shop vac on, and then we're gonna try to turn on the saw and see what happens. So as you may have been able to see, I saw it go up to 10.1 kilowatts with the surge, and it was about, you know, eight to nine, you know, when the saw was just running in the shop vac. And I'm gonna see, maybe I can find something else to get plugged into this 30 amp plug to get this thing to go up a little higher, or I might just have to test the full output another day. All right, so as you may have been able to see, I saw it go up to 10.1 kilowatts with the surge of the saw when turning it on. And it was about eight to nine kilowatts coming out of the inverter. So it definitely looks like it puts out what it claims, but you know, we're gonna have to see consistently. I'm gonna make a whole series on this inverter. This is just an initial impressions and doing a few tests to see if the thing actually does work before I really get deep into it. And I try to use this for something on my house or put it on somebody else's house or whatever I'm gonna end up doing with the thing. But definitely seems to be working so far. Uh, the only things I haven't been able to get to work so far, and I've only been working with it with a little for a little while, I gotta work on it some more, is the battery communication and you know that little Wi-Fi app. The app doesn't seem to be showing all the information. And uh, maybe it's just a server problem right now. And the battery communications, I looked through both of the manuals. I contacted Calpha, it's the weekend of course. So maybe when they get back to work, they will email me back and let me know how to set up the battery communications. But so far for the price for $1,699, you get a 10 kilowatt inverter. It will take in 11K of solar and a split phase. I mean, it seems like a pretty good deal. You know, over time we're gonna have to see and you know, see how everything does and do some more testing. But so far I'm liking the thing, you know, it's like, Everything you get now, you're gonna have little problems here and there. And the battery communication, I just put it in user you know, and just define your own settings for charging. It's not that hard. So the thing does work. 
but you know that that server for the app maybe that's not working but we're gonna do updates on all that do a whole series but you let me know what do you want to see me do with this inverter to do the testing you know there's a whole lot of stuff you can do i'm definitely gonna try to do the surge and see how high the thing can go chickens i'm definitely gonna do the surge and see how high the things can go but right now my batteries are charged so i don't have another big load to put on it but when i have another load i'll probably try it out tomorrow you know do a whole nother test so right now i still got this thing charging my car you know 6600 watts coming out and i don't know if you can hear it or not it is definitely it's not that loud it, it is it is actually pretty quiet you know the fans did kick up and they are running but it's not super loud. And I just thought about it. It could be possibly that I need to do a firmware update on the batteries. Cause I did do the firmware update for the inverter. So maybe I need to do the batteries to make them communicate. So I'm probably gonna look into that as well. And I'm gonna be doing a whole video on these batteries, doing a review on those. The one thing that I've noticed so far that is different about these batteries and every other server rack I've dealt with is when it's charging, it's not flashing. Like the state of charge is not flashing like it's going up. So that's definitely a little weird. Maybe that's something they that can update in the firmware. You know, the inverter is t saying it's, it's charging. So, I mean, you know from that, but I like to be able to look at the lights on the on the battery. So maybe they can get that updated. But for what it is, uh, it, it was pretty easy to connect. They sent me all the cables. It even came with the cable that goes to your AC power. You know, so that was pretty cool. You know, it didn't come with the breaker that goes in your AC panel, but it did come with the cable. You know, when you get a whole package with the batteries and everything, I mean, that, that's pretty cool there. You know, most of the time, you're gonna have to buy a lot of stuff separate. So for the price, this stuff is actually a pretty good deal. You know, it's just about the long term. Is it gonna work? So remember, if you like this kind of video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and thanks for watching.